Antoine Brooks, Tito Ellis, Anthony McFarland. You see getting a chance to maybe sign a few autographs and now come out and and share some thoughts. But this is a good looking crew right here. Appreciate that, Thank man. you. Appreciate yeah, it was it like, was it like a contest? To... No, it just, it just happened. It's just, just, it just organically. It's just yeah. the Merlin way. Yeah. 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 It's the Maryland way. You're all Maryland natives. Yeah. All Maryland natives. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what does it mean to compete for for your home school? How important is that to you, you Antoine? Want, you want uh, it it means a lot to me, honestly. Like, you know, when you when you was a youngin and when I was a young man, like I was I was always dreaming about being in college and like playing football, college football. But like to play for Maryland football is kinda different, you know. Cause I was always dreaming about playing at like West Virginia or some other school, like just because just because I just wanna go to college. But like Maryland is like it's like a like I don't know. Like I'm I'm just excited to even play for Maryland. Like it's just, it's just like the pride thing. Like I'm, I'm excited. Right? How about for you, Tia? Uh, it means a lot for me to play for the University of Maryland. Um, this school I always paid attention to when I was younger. Um, seeing guys like Stephon Diggs, you know, door from home, that made me, you know, want to stay home and motivate me to stay home and door from home as well. Anthony, um, it's a humbling feeling. I'm um, just always. I mean, I've been here my whole life, been in Maryland my whole life. So growing up from the DMV, you know, like you said, watching guys like Stephon Diggs, um, Sean Merriman, Vernon Davis, um, Lamont Joel, and um, just guys like that, man, it just makes you want to stay home and um, build your own legacy, you know, not just be a part of a legacy, but, you know, create something that will last a long, you know, for last long time. And I can, we can be able to go back, you know, to Maryland and say, man, um, we did it. You know, we, we the boys that did it from Maryland and we're actually from there. So that's one of the reasons why I stay home. It's obvious that the place means a lot to you. It means a lot to Coach Loxley as well. And I think he articulated that really well today and, and said the same thing to, to us when he sat with us. What is it, how does it kind of come across, the, the specialness of Maryland to him when, when you talk to him? Sure, when I talk to him, you know, he talk about the accountability. You know, because if I'm accountable with myself, uh, I won't put Merlin in a bad, like, bad place, you know, any type of, like, any type of trouble. Like, I don't, it's, no, it's no point for that. So, like, he, he try to, like, be accountable for, like, the whole team. You know, don't put Merlin in a, in a bad name. Mm -hmm. Don't, like, don't, don't make our name go bad, you know. Try to, like, represent us well, you know. And that's, that's one thing he, he bring to me. What, what has stood out to you, Tino, about about the the passion that Coach Loxley has for Maryland? Um, the passion he has, you know, he's very enthusiastic about his job, um, being the head coach. Um, I'm happy for him to be here. Um, he, like Swan said, you know, he has the program. He wants everybody to be accountable on the team, and that's one thing we're really focusing on you know, what, this season. What's changed the most, Anthony, with Coach Loxley in charge? Um, he, he's just not trying to make this a, a, a winning program. He's trying to make this a, a, you know, a winning family, a family program. Um, and he stresses that all the time. It's just that it's not about what we do on the field. Um, what matters the most is what we do off the field. And he also explains to us that it's all about the little things um, to win football games if that's what we want to do. And um, he, he doesn't always talk about, you know, um, this is what we're going to do to win and, um, you know, um, how we're going to win. He just, just maximize your day. That's what he says the most all the time, just maximize it. How do you do that? How do you go about maximizing your day? Um, being where your feet are, you know, not worrying about, um, you know, what's going to happen next month, what's going to happen, you know, a year from now, just being where your feet are. Like, I'm here right now. You know, I'm here right now. I'm not thinking about nothing else. And that's how you have to live your life. Mm -hmm. What else have you gotten from him what are what are kind of the the messages that he's trying to convey because anytime you have a new coach right there is there is a new message there is kind of a, a new model of how he's going to do it what are some of those messages i mean maximizing is one of them because you know we have to make sure that we we, we putting in every effort or like any type of anything like like anything you do it's got to have maximum effort like like why why would you even go to school if you ain't want to do, and you have people do it grade. all the time, That's right? What I'm but get people do it grade. all the time. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, how do you how do you make that how do you make that part of your everyday? I just, cause I can't. It's already built in me, honestly. Like I right. don't have to like think. Like it's just it's just there. Like for me, it's just it's just there. Like I have to just I have to help other people to get that that same thing I have. Like like it's it's it's, it's not really too hard to you know to think to to do good, like to be a good player, a good player, a good student, a good off the field guy, a good on the field guy. It's, it's not hard. You just got to do it.
Do you know what excites you the most about this team? Um, just the chemistry we have, you know, guys coming together on this team, you know, guys like Ant and Twan, you know, we all come together, you know, from the DMV representing the University of Maryland. So that's one thing I'm excited about and just coming up and just ready for the season. I'm interested from each one of you. I mean, it was a tough year last year. There was a lot going on around this program. I mean, you lost a teammate, which yeah. was incredibly tragic. You had uncertainty surrounding the coach yeah. situation. What was the most challenging part of making it through that season? Um, probably, probably just facing the adversity, like trying to trying to like go around it. Actually, like, what do you mean by that? Like, try to like. Not not think about it. Like I guess to try to like just move, not move on, but to like move forward. Cause yeah. If you take a step forward, you you're trying to move forward. Right. So you, you not really try to think about like what happened. You try to think about like what make it to happen. Like if you if if I can do better to make him happy, then I feel better for myself. Like I, that's just how I feel. How about for you, Tina? What was the toughest part of all that? I'm just moving on from the situation, you know, and trying to honor him by, you know, winning games, you know, and doing the things right for the team. I feel like that was, like, the most hardest thing we had to had to, had to deal with. Anthony? Um, we definitely faced a lot of adversity um, last year dealing with that. Um, with losing our brother, um, losing our teammate. Um, but, I mean, you know, we got past it. Um, like I said, Jordan's going forever. Um, live with us. We don't. It's not a day that don't go past that we don't think about him. So, you know, we we, we doing everything for him. Like this year, it, it's really for him. And um, I'm just glad that you know Coach Locks came on board and um, you know, open up like you know, open up with open arms with us and let him know that you know he's going you know take care of us and he's going to make this a a football family at the end of the day. As challenging a season as that was, I mean, there's some great individual moments. And Anthony, you had a bunch of them. I mean, you ended up breaking the Maryland freshman rushing record. There's a lot of hype and excitement surrounding you this year. How do you build on on that season? Um, just being a better teammate. Um, I feel like um, I'm, a, I'm a team first guy. I got these guys up here there tell you, man. I'm all about the team first, and um, everything I do this year, from you know big ones and. I'm um, exciting plays. Um, I'm doing that for my team. I'm not doing that for me. It's just like everybody all day been asking me um, about, you know, the awards and me being on the watch. Um, you know, all that stuff is, is cool. I appreciate that. But it's nothing better than playing for your team. It's nothing better than, um, you know, going out to win for your team. And I feel like when you're a team player, all that other, you know, the accolades and all the awards and stuff like that, it take care of that for itself. So I don't try to, you know, just worry about myself. Um, what I did last year was in the past. Um, I feel like I haven't I had, I got a lot to prove. I really haven't did too much. So um, it should be a special season for us. Antoine, for you, I know just the, the notion of being here is pretty special, right? I mean, you think about what you went through your senior year of high school, a, a devastating injury. Maryland was really yeah. the main school that stuck with you. When you think about your journey and the fact that you've ended up here and, and are considered a pro prospect and you're representing your school and all those kinds of things, what runs through your mind? Uh, well, honestly, you know, this a crazy moment. Cause you know I, I didn't expect me to come, you know represent, Why not? represent my team. Why know? didn't you expect to be here? I mean, no, nah, I mean now I did, but I like, I didn't really like I didn't see it coming. Like I wouldn't see right. the first thing like that wouldn't be the first thing that come in my head okay. to come out here, get dressed, get dressed with my partners, you know, try to try to get, get clean, you know. But you know that that my senior year was devastating, you know. It was good, but you know having Tino with me. Cause he was with me when we first came in. He was always, you know, working out with me when I was when I was hurt. You know, working on my 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 ankle. Or like we used to do line, uh, ladder drills and all that other stuff. So, you know, I, if if I got my teammates with me, I'm I'm ready to ride anytime. Tino, you know, you've had an interesting journey too because you switched positions. You started as a wide receiver. Yeah. Now you're a defensive back. How, how does that help you? The fact that you you played the position now that you're trying to defend. Um, it definitely helped me, you know, when I watch film and break down different receivers and try to pick up the tendencies, and I can almost guess the route, you know, what, how they're, you know, going to run their routes and stuff like that. So it definitely prepared me, you know, switching from receivers to DB. It helps me out a lot. As we look forward to this year, who are some of the young guys maybe that we don't know about? Who, who's the uh – I guess a lot of people knew about Anthony McFarland. That wasn't really all that well kept a secret last year. But who are some of the guys maybe who could emerge and, and could become the, the star players on this team? And I'll start with you, Anthony. Um, whoa, Jason Jones, um, you know, Dante Demas. You got a lot of guys. And then on the defensive side, you just got 
you know, it's a lot of like on defense. Y'all can name. I ain't gonna talk for y'all. But. <laughs> I feel like there's no uh, one person in particular. I feel like the whole the whole group of young guys that we have, they're gonna uh, rise to the occasion and, and be prepared. You know, to take the field and be ready. Yeah, I feel like we we preparing oh. all, all the young ones. You know, that 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 the Big Ten ain't, ain't ain't no regular conference. You know, it's a it's a good good competitive conference that. That, that that everybody will be ready to play football, so you gotta be ready too. Uh, one seems to have popped into your head a lot. Um, I, I know I probably always get like the, the most attention, but um, it's RBU in, in Merton College Park. You know, we got yeah. Javon Leak. Oh, yeah. um, he's gonna be a breakout star. Um, I got a lot of confidence in him. That's my best friend, uh, Tayon Fleet Davis. He's gonna be a breakout star. Um, that's like my best friend. You got Lorenzo Harrison. He's been doing this thing for a while. And you got Jake Funk. He's been doing this thing for a while. Special. These, all them guys are special. So it ain't just me. Um, that's gonna have a, you know the breakout year. It's gonna be them guys in the room with me. Yeah, really good running back group. Give us uh, some insight into the quarterback position, Anthony. What have you seen there? As as you got you know, some experience back, you have yeah. uh, one new face that comes with a lot of yeah. uh, of hype. Yeah. What, how do you see it playing together? Um, well, I feel like they both can uh, play together. I feel like, um, you know, like, you know, they're similar players, and I feel like they'll uh, get along well. I know, you know, when Josh came in, um, he, he's been doing nothing but, you know, trying to be a good leader, just coming along, coming in with, um, you know, just open arms. And we know he's an experienced quarterback. Um, he won a lot of games at VTech. He played around, um, you know, a lot of good coaches, just a lot of good players. So, um, you know, we're pr pretty confident in the team, you know, the quarterbacks that we have, and um, we got incoming freshman last. He's been, you know, looking pretty good. So um, we're looking for both of them to help us out this year. Yeah, we've seen Josh and, and everything that he can do, as you mentioned, at Virginia Tech. And then you bring in Shaq Smith as well on the defensive side, and there's yeah. a lot of excitement there. A little bit of a, a glimmer in your eyes. I bring <laughs> up that name. Tell us about Shaq. Shoot, yeah, Shaq, Shaq he a hard worker. You know, I, you know, you can't really tell a football player a lot, but he's a real good football player, you know. He, he he ready to rush, honestly. You know, when he came in here, you know, he asked me what 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 can I do? You know, he asked me what what was the defense. So like, I mean, you know, I had to help him out because you know I got the same new defense he do. So <laughs> our defense is pretty new. So you know, I gotta we gotta we all we all gotta talk at the same we gotta talk at the same pace. We just gotta be on the same page for real. So me and him probably just getting smart together. You know, probably just you know watching film together like always. Tino, you know, what what can you tell us about Shaq? What have you seen? Um, man, Shaq is a hard worker. Um, I grew up with Shaq in Baltimore, Maryland, so I already know the type of guy he was and what he's going to bring to the teams. And I'm excited for him to be here, you know, at the University of Maryland and help us win games. Yeah, an entirely new staff, and you kind of talked about that. That that hey, you're learning too. Give us a sense of how the the defensive philosophy. How does it compare to what you guys were doing before? Um, well, with Coach Hope, you know, he he brought on a lot of. Uh, a lot of different defenses, you know. He he brought a pro style pro style defense, you know. And uh, you know, they they came and talked to me, you know, they told me that I'm I'm just gonna be playing, so you, you gotta play Antoine. Like I ain't and if I don't wanna come out the field then that's what you don't wanna do. <laughs> so and I was like, Yeah, coach, you know, I got you. So now that me and him together we just working so like we just working twenty four seven all the time. Like me and him talk about, you know, he get on me about if I miss a miss an assignment or alignment. Like if even if my foot wrong, you know, I'm wrong. So like that's just that's just the type of coaching staff that we have now. So like like they, they don't like us walking or jogging. Like they, we just we just a hard nosed thing for real. All right, Antoine Brooks, Tino Ellis, Anthony McFarland. Thanks so much guys. No problem. Enjoy no problem. your time in Chicago. Yes, sir.